As vaccine rates increase, so does the data. Well, at least for now. Before I get started, let me say there is no health opinion associated with this report. And the primary link and its reference links to all the data are in the description. So this piece is about digging in and not taking information at face value due to predisposition. What prompted me to discuss this was an article I read. I'm subscribed to get emails from Dan Bongino. And at the bottom of the emails, there are links listed under the title, Dan's News Picks. The claim made was that triple vac seniors show negative efficacy against COVID death, something I couldn't validate by clicking the reference links posted in the article. Now, I may have missed something, but I still won't accept the statement as a fact until I see the facts. Like most stories, this was mixed with solid information, information I couldn't validate, and information that appears to be intentionally omitted. I'll start off with what I could validate and then point out the omission, which I almost missed. Let's start in Ireland. Ireland is one of the most vaccinated countries in Europe, yet in March of this year, there were more Irish people in hospitals with COVID than at any point in the last 12 months, according to an article I read in the Irish Times. Now. Consider that almost 95% of all adults are fully vaccinated and the government of Ireland reports that nearly 100% of seniors are vaccinated and boosted. Let's jump to Scotland. In March of this year, Scotland, which had the highest vaccination rate of anywhere in the UK and is the only region with mass mandates recorded its highest infection rates of the pandemic so far, with one in every 14 people infected with the virus in mid-March, up from one in 18 in early March. This was reported by Financial Times. Now, the next logical data set to look at is deaths, but Scotland stopped providing that data. However, the British government was still offering the weekly reports in mid-March which included death stats until early April. When I looked at Table 10 and reviewed the UK Health Surveillance Report, which was released on March 17th, roughly 95% of those over 70 are double vaccinated and about 90 to 93% of the over 70 crowd are boosted. Only 1.6% of the senior cases were unvaccinated which is below the 5% of the population pie that they compose. The triple boosted are 90% of the cases. Now to the death stats we couldn't get from Scotland. Table 12B shows COVID deaths within 60 days of a positive SARS-CoV-2 test during week seven through week 10 of this year. You'll see that the triple vaccinated dominate the cases, but that makes sense since they're in the most vulnerable age bracket and 90% plus of that bracket is triple vaxxed. So the death stats offer no cause and effect, or at least I can't see one. So why are various countries pulling this data out of the report? Is it being misinterpreted and broadcast incorrectly? Or is there more to be gleaned by those that understand this better than I? I'd love for you to go through this exercise and see if you can pull out information that I missed and then post them in the comments. I'm far more interested to getting to what's right than in being right. At the end of the day, we are 11 billion doses into global mass injection, and yet more than 72% of the 6.1 million confirmed COVID deaths have occurred since vaccine rollout. Half the deaths have occurred since mid-April, and yet the dominant strain is Omicron, which is said to be less deadly than earlier strains. I don't have factual answers to the effectiveness of this worldwide strategy. Surprisingly, 
Part of the answer may have been recently revealed by a man that might be bringing the movie Revenge of the Nerds into reality. Before I get to that, let me close by saying that my intent here was not to provide answers, but to encourage folks to dig deeper. For example, when I learned about the death stats in the UK, this was the photo in the article that I read. When I went to the actual report, here is what was omitted. While my predisposition was to agree with the author of the article, when I realized he omitted information to suit his bias, I was disappointed to discover I was misled. Bottom line, there are people on both sides of any argument that play this game, and we the people need to be wary. Okay, without further ado, I give you a statement from Marvel's latest character, Super Nerd. Mr. Gates, because this is, I know, a topic that you've spoken on again and again. You were ahead of the curve prior to the beginning of this pandemic. Where would you assess where we are today in beating COVID-19? Well, the, uh, you know, sadly, the virus itself, particularly the, the variant called Omicron, uh, is a type of vaccine. That is, it creates both B cell and T cell immunity. And it's done a better job of getting out to the world population uh, than we have with vaccines. If you do uh, sero surveys in African countries, you get well over 80% of people uh, have been exposed either to the vaccine or uh, to various variants. And so, you know, what that does is it means the chance of severe disease, which is mainly associated with being elderly and uh, having obesity or diabetes, those risks are now dramatically reduced because of that uh, infection exposure.